doing part two on the old top Rambler 69 appreciation build. And uh, we're working on this J2M5 Raiden 148 scale from Hasegawa. Uh, moving right along on it, doing a lot of good work, and it's going together superbly well. I would put this in my top five kits to get. Um, I may go get another one. It's it's an awesome kit. So we're going to be starting here painting the cockpit up and getting it weathered and ready to go. There is no footage on the black primer, but there is footage covering everything else. So we're just going to jump right into it, try and save some time on this video. Start priming, start painting, explain a little bit of the weathering, and here we go. All right, from here we're gonna start using our AK Rail colors. This is the Mitsubishi Green Interior. Uh, again, a fantastic color from AK Rail colors. And we're gonna mix it uh, with Mr. Leveling Thinner, pretty diluted, so probably 70-30. All right, everyone, so we have gloss, clear coat gloss, and we're ready for some weathering. And we're gonna start with this uh, wash, this dark brown wash for green vehicles. Gonna go along all of the uh, details and create some shadows. We've got some enamel thinner here that we can remove it with and thin it out more if need be. So we're just gonna get started here. And again, like I said, just gonna go around these details that are on the dashboard. You can see I'm not being real precise on this one. There's a decal that's going to cover a lot of this up, so I'm just trying to outline every little thing. Do not need to be precise on this particular application, but when we come to the other things, uh, such as here on the floor, we're going to pinpoint it just a little bit more, do like these pin washes, to get it around all these details, let it flow through again with a gloss coat.
Okay, and as you can see here, it's much, much more pronounced, much darker on all this detailing. You can see it here on the sidewalls, on the floor. You can see exactly where we put this wash, and this is why washes are so great. They bring out and highlight all of these little details. So highly recommend doing washes, and uh, you can clean them off. if you, As long as you did a gloss clear coat, you clean them off using this enamel thinner. You can also do it with... Uh, a satin coat and matte coat as well. Just takes a little extra time. So now what we're going to do is start doing some weathering with some sand and yellow dust deposits, some more of the wash, going to make things a little bit grimy, a little bit muddy, dusty. Should be a lot of fun. I'm just going to try and go for like a, a dusty cockpit look, um, you know, in the Pacific here, South Pacific. So it's not going to be muddy like a tank. It's just going to be a little dark, a little dusty. And we'll uh, kind of go from there. We're going to play around with some stuff as well. I've got some VNMS uh, stuff I want to try out. So we're going to practice and uh, see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this wash and put it a little bit more where I miss some spots. And we do have the decal on. You can't really see it. It's not real clear. But uh, we'll work on that as we go along. But as we start, we're just going to kind of clean up some of our mistakes that we made. Go back through and uh, start having a lot of fun with it. All right, finally, we're going to get into this new VMS product I got in. Uh, love VMS stuff. I'm a VMS AK shop just about, and this is Pigment Jockey. It's basically a pigment already mixed up liquid-wise, and uh, we're going to clean that up with Universal Weathering Carrier Light Type if we need to, uh, and then uh, just kind of see how this product reacts. So, uh, again, never done this before. Um, it's supposed to dry pretty quickly you can use a hair dryer on it as well it's uh it's supposed to leave like a dried pigment when it's done so it should have a little bit of texture maybe not too too much but like a dusting so should be really interesting to see if we can get it right All right, everyone, so we're just kind of cleaning this all up. The pigment jockey is okay. You can see here on the side of the uh, interior wall, 
it does darken it up dirties it up i need to play with it a little bit more just kind of getting used to it now i'm just kind of removing stuff as i go along i'm dabbing you know stabbing strokes and just trying to blend everything in together to make it look uh somewhat decent and uh in the end i think it does come out okay uh it's again just something i'm playing with you know it doesn't have to be perfect when this cockpit's sealed up this all goes away no one ever sees it uh however it's still fun to do i really do enjoy weathering and i, I want to get better at it so as you can see we're just going to keep playing around with it from here and uh should be should be a lot of fun I'm going to put this down for the side and we'll start moving on to some other areas as well. And basically I'll come back here and uh, you can see on the dust, I'm kind of doing that streaking. I want to get that little streaking effect going that it shows it's dusty, um, but not overdone just enough. I could have probably just hit, hit this with some pigment powder and let that create a natural dusting. Honestly, uh, that might be a way to go next time but the pigment powder tends to fade off. However, I think what we'll do here is just kind of show you our end results on the flooring. See how that kind of turned out. I think it turned out pretty good personally, but uh, anyways, I think we'll end this here. And uh, until next time, everyone, go check out Tom's channel. Uh, give him a like and subscribe if you haven't. I can't imagine you haven't, but uh, go check him out. And we'll continue moving on this, continue with this format for now. And uh, Tom, really appreciate you and everything that you do for the community and all the kind words. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Until next time, take care.